guys, welcome back. Today's star of the show is going to be the Fury B F-36. Awesome little quadcopter. If you guys don't already have one of these, I'd recommend getting one. And what I'm going to be doing today is putting this FPV camera on it. Really small, lightweight. Here it is right here. Really small, lightweight, 25 milliwatt FPV camera. And I'm also going to be upgrading the motors to these. Um, I ordered these from Banggood or Gearbest, I don't remember which one, but there's the part number if you guys need the motors, and they're just an upgraded motor so it'll be able to lift this camera more effectively. So anyway, I'm going to take off the body and unsolder the motors, solder new ones in, and install this camera with the included connector that it came with. This is one of those tiny little um, Pico, is that the right connector? I'll solder that up to the the battery connection on the board and that'll just plug right into the camera that way the camera will be modular I'll just be able to take it on and off if I want to put it on something else so here we go Okay guys, I unsoldered all the old motors and installed all the new motors and now I just got to solder, solder all these wires down to the board. I didn't want to film that whole thing, it'd be kind of boring because it's a tedious process and I have to take this thing up and move it around a lot. Wouldn't make for super good footage. But yeah, I'm just going to solder them down to the board now where the old ones were and then I'll solder this lead for the camera right here onto the power connection of the board. Okay guys, I got all the new motors installed, got all the wires soldered on the board and kind of tucked away there. So now I'm going to reinstall the props with the orientation they came off and give it a test to make sure everything's right. Looks like that's better. For some reason, I don't know why, but I had to switch a prop from the front or the back. I must have messed up putting them on even though I had them laid out like that. So now I'm going to go ahead and solder on the camera lead and mount the camera and be ready for some FPV, hopefully. Alright guys, I got the camera all wired up and I put on my FPV goggles and scanned the channels and it's picking this up just fine. So I'm going to go ahead and mount this with a little piece of VHB tape and then probably go over the top with a rubber band. And that'll be about it. So there's the final result guys, I'll try to get some FPV video. The only other thing I'm going to do is go around and touch uh, all these little electrical solder joints with a little bit of liquid tape. <laughs> 